YouTube channel. I know it's been a long time since I've posted a video here, but I'm back. And today I'm super excited. I'll be sharing all of my favorite watercolor brushes. I'm also going to be doing a little unboxing of my latest haul from Princeton Artist Brushes. If you follow me over on Instagram, you know I am a Princeton brand ambassador, but I'm also truly just a huge fan of Princeton. That's the only brand of brush that I use in my daily watercolor practice. Um, so I'm gonna be showing you some of the brand new brushes that I ordered that I'm excited to just try out for the very first time, as well as some of the tried and true brushes that I just had to replace for my own studio as well. Um, but before we get into that, all of the brushes that I'm going to be mentioning in this video are linked down below in the description box. So if you want to give any of them a try for yourself or check them out, you can find all of those down below and that'll link you straight to my Amazon storefront. But before we get to the unboxing, I'm going to be sharing my top five all-time favorite brushes. Number one is the Princeton Neptune Round Brush. So my favorite is size eight, but really any size in the Neptune line is absolutely amazing and I use them all, but I definitely use size eight most often. The Neptune line is my go-to when I'm painting loose florals, which let's be honest, I'm almost always painting loose florals, but it's truly the best for loose style painting because it is such a thirsty, thirsty brush. It holds so much water, which is really nice for creating those soft bleeds and fluffy petals. What I also like about this brush is that the bristles aren't very stiff, which sometimes you need stiff bristles for adding details or when you want more control, but with loose expressive painting, the softer the better. Number two is the Princeton Velvet Touch Round Brush. You can see my size four brush has lost a bit of its pointy tip because I've used the heck out of it for about two years straight. So this is actually one of the brushes that I've reordered and I'll be including that in the unboxing part of this video. The Velvet Touch line from Princeton is my top choice for just general everyday watercolor painting because it's super versatile. It's not as thirsty or soft as the Neptune line, but it's also not too stiff. It's right around in the middle range of stiffness. So it gives you plenty of control, but it can still be used for loose style painting. It's also my favorite brush for comfort because the handle on these guys is so velvety smooth and it just feels very luxurious. Number three is back to the Neptune line, but it's actually the script brush instead of the round brush. Script brushes are a bit less common than round ones, but I've actually been loving this one for painting leaves and greenery. Script brushes have much longer bristles than the round ones, like you can see here, so it's really good for creating loose, organic looking leaves. And again, because it's part of that Neptune line, you're still getting those super thirsty, soft bristles that are just perfect for loose, expressive botanical paintings. I've actually been thinking about creating a YouTube tutorial all about how to paint leaves with a script brush, so if that's something you're interested in, let me know down below in the comments. Now onto number four, which is a more recent favorite of mine, the Velvet Touch Filbert Blooms Brush with the long handle, and this is a size 12. I'm a little late to the game with Filbert brushes, but since I started using them, I can totally see what all the hype is about. Filbert brushes are flat with a rounded edge, which makes them perfect for painting effortless flower petals because the brush is practically already the shape of a flower petal, so it's a really easy shortcut. I'm also actually in the process of creating a brand new class that's all about painting loose florals with filbert brushes, so keep an eye out for that one. But yeah, if you've never tried a filbert brush before, I definitely recommend it. Again, I have all the links to these brushes down below. Finally, number five is the Neptune One Inch Square Wash Brush. First, I just have to say, this is hands down the most beautiful brush I own. The transparent handle that looks like sea glass, the gold ferrule, the super soft bristles, it's just absolutely beautiful. But beyond the beauty of it, it's also my go-to for painting large washes of color. So for things like backgrounds for landscapes or softly blending colors, applying base layers for seascapes, it's just perfect for that. And now that we reviewed my top five brush recommendations, we can move on to the unboxing. First up is 
use two long handle Velvet Touch Filbert brushes. That's a mouthful. <laughs> I talked about these earlier in the video, super easy for painting florals, and I got a size 10 and 12. I already have a couple smaller Filbert brushes in my studio, so I'm really excited to go a bit bigger with these ones. Next up is a variety of Velvet Touch round brushes. So I got sizes 4, 5, and 10. And these are just replacements for my current ones because as you saw earlier, I've used them really heavily and it's just time to retire the old ones. Same goes for these Neptune round brushes. So I got size 6 and 8 just as replacements. And then I also got these large 16 and 18 round brushes for my bigger floral paintings. I also got a couple of different oval mop brushes. Oval brushes, as you can guess, have more rounded oval shaped bristles that I haven't actually used too much before, but I wanted to experiment with them for creating flower petals just like the filbert brushes. I got a 3 quarter inch from the Velvet Touch line and also a half inch, 3 quarter inch, and 1 inch from the Select Artiste line just to play around with a variety of sizes to get a feel for what they all can do. I also got a short liner brush, size 1 from the Heritage line. Now I don't have too many Princeton brushes from the Heritage line, but I wanted to give this one a try for those extra fine details. And the last few brushes I got in this order are for landscapes, which is a subject that I've been pouring more and more time into this year. I'm still not super confident in my landscape abilities, but I've been enjoying the process, definitely seeing an improvement in my skills, and it's something I'll continue investing time into. So I'm excited to use these brushes to help push me even further. First is the three inch hockey brush. Hockey brushes are really durable, relatively inexpensive, and they're really great for wetting your paper for landscapes. I also got this two inch Mottler brush from the Neptune line. These have the, again, super soft, thirsty bristles, and it also just looks very beautiful and elegant. So I will definitely be using this one for more landscape practice. And finally, I got one more half inch square wash brush that's also from the Neptune Aquarelle series. All right, we made it through all the brushes, old and new. I'm super excited to start implementing these in my daily watercolor practice. As I mentioned, yes, I am a Princeton brand ambassador, but that is only because I truly 100% love using these brushes. I would not be recommending them if I didn't. Once more, you can find all these items linked down below in my Amazon storefront. If you have any questions about anything I mentioned in the video, please feel free to leave a comment, or you can also connect with me on Instagram at Petals by Priya. I also have a ton of online watercolor classes available on my website, petalsbypriya.com, as well as on Skillshare. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in another video, hopefully very soon.